Hi everyone, if you asked me two days ago, what's the best USB wattmeter or USB tester that I can buy? I would have told you it's this one from Portapal, but now I have a different answer. It's this EBD USB tester from ZKE. Now, trying to find information about this is very difficult because you can find them on eBay, AliExpress, Alibaba, all the popular websites. But when you try and find an official website and try and find the software, it's very difficult. So I don't quite understand what's going on, but it's very easy to buy, but the software is a little bit difficult to find. Now you might look at this and think, isn't that just a USB dummy load? Well, no, it's so much more. If you just plug it into a USB power bank, you'll probably think, oh, nothing's happening and there's no display, there's no buttons, so how does it work? Well this is how it works, you have to run a piece of software on Windows and then plug it into your computer using a micro USB cable and then when you connect it to something like this USB power bank, watch what happens. It shows the voltage on the screen, 5.13 volts and then we can do so much stuff, it's incredible what you can do. Um, for instance, we can start with something simple like a one amp load. So if I just click start, it will start drawing one amp and look at this, it actually charts the voltage up here and the amount of current that we're drawing. So we're drawing one amp at around five volts and it's consuming 5.01 watts. And down here it will show you the capacity in milliamp hours but also in watt hours. So if you want to test is this really a 20,000 milliamp hour battery you can actually use this to do that. Now if you look at a power bank like this you can see it says 20,100 milliamp hour or 74.3 watt hours. So you're better off looking at the watt hours and this measurement here because watt hours it doesn't matter what the voltage is because 20,100 milliamp hour is at the voltage of 3.7 volts but we're drawing it out of 5 volts so the easier way to do it is just to use watt hours and then you'll know is this a genuine power bank is what's printed here actually true and it also has an auto test so we can go to auto test and then we could say start at say 0.1 amp current and then go up to I don't know say 2 amp and you can change the steps so let's make it go up in steps of 0.3 amp and let's click start and it should measure the current and the voltage at each step so you can see oh do we have a sag when it gets to 2 amp or something like that and there you go we can now see how the voltage correlates with the current so when we're drawing 2 amp we're actually getting around 4.9 volts something like that but when we were drawing very little current we were getting just above 5 volts so it's just got so many options it's incredible another cool thing it can do is test the quick charger so if your power bank says it sports Qualcomm quick charge which this one does you can plug in your tester and then you can say okay I want to test for 5 volts I want to test for 9 volts and then it should update if it manages to do 9 volts there you go 9 volts then we can test for 12 volts and then there's also 20 volts, but I think that's a Qualcomm quick charge free. And like I said, you can also do MTK for the MediaTek quick charge protocol. So this is just incredible, this tester. It's got so many options. And where things get even more exciting is that I can use it for things like 18650s because this can actually handle a whole multitude of uh, voltages anywhere from 0.05 up to 13 and a half volts and it can handle up to 4 amps of current maximum power of 25 watts so using this little adapter I made it's just a USB port connected to an 18650 battery I can plug in the tester and then we can measure we can actually see the voltage drop off as the battery becomes depleted and the great thing about this is it's got a color off voltage option so we can say when it gets to 3 volts stop drawing power and it will just stop so this tester is going to be absolutely fantastic for testing these 18650 batteries in fact let's try it out we'll set the current to 1 amp cut off voltage to 3 volts and click start and you can see the fan comes on automatically to keep the tester nice and cool and there you go we can see that under one amp of load the voltage has dropped down to 3.89 volts and this will map it over the whole time until it gets down to 3 volts and then by looking down here we'll be able to know the milliamp hours and the watt hours that we managed to draw out this battery now this is a Samsung a genuine Samsung 18650 battery so I'll leave this going for a while and then come back and show you the results so a quick change of plan, it was going to take too long, so I've changed the current to 2 amps. Um, we still got a cut off voltage of 3 volts, and you can see that under a 2 amp load, the voltage dropped down to 3.56 volts, and we're drawing around 7 watts. So we'll leave this going, and then I'll show you what the chart looks like once it's finished. So we're coming up to the 3 volt mark, we'll see if it automatically turns off. Hopefully it will, it should do. And there you go. 
Did you see that? It just touched three volts and then it turned off. Now you can see that it's gone up to 3.5 volts. That's because we no longer have a load on the battery. When you have a load, of course, the voltage drops down. So let's take a look at the results. You can see it measured a capacity of 1,994 milliamp hour. Now, of course, you have to take that in relation to the voltage, blah, blah, blah. But for the watt hours, it measured 6,468 milliwatt hour or 6.46 watt hours. Now that's actually pretty high considering we were discharging this battery at 2 amp because the higher the current the less you're going to get out of your battery and you can see that we began at 4.18 volts and it cut off at 2.999 basically 3 volts and we can see the curve as it depleted the battery but we had a constant 2 amp the whole time and no point did it drop it gave us 2 amp for the entire time which is very good and you can save this chart as an image or you can save it as a CSV file so then you can open up the spreadsheet and you could create your own graphs or dig into the data further, whatever you want to do. So it's so versatile. Now at this point you might be thinking, well that's great for checking the capacity of a battery or a power bank or for checking if you really can draw two amp out of a USB charger or something like that. But what if you want to measure something else? For instance, I've got this USB soldering iron. What if I want to know how much power this draws? Well you can also do that. So we just plug this in here and then we'll connect this to a power bank so that it can actually power the soldering iron and then in the software we just click on monitor and now you can see it's showing 4.965 volts 1.2 amp so this USB soldering iron is consuming 6.5 watts so you can use it to measure other USB devices or pretty much you know a wide range of devices as long as you can plug them in because it supports a wide range of voltages so you can use this to measure how much current these things consume and if you want you can measure it over time for instance you can see it just dropped off now because this actually has like a sensor in it and you can turn it on and off when you want to use the iron so you can see it's now back up to 1.1 amp so you can use it to measure USB devices and see how much current they consume so that wasn't a super in-depth video but I think you got a good enough look at what it does and why it's so awesome and the whole time this heatsink never even got warm because the fan keeps it cool so yeah I think this might be the best USB tester load watt meter whatever you want to call it on the market right now so I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions put them in the comment section down below and if you enjoyed this video please give a thumbs up and subscribe thanks for watching